FB Lives. I'm grateful that I got a chance to connect with amazing people like you. So today, I'm going to talk about a very special topic. And so, stay till the end. So, before I start, let me know if you're watching this session live, type live. And if replay, type replay. Thank you. Thank you, Vijaya. Thank you, Neha, Naina, Sonal, for watching all these previous episodes of this five day live. And so now let me start with my intro. My name is Anita Singh, a behavioral parenting coach, and I help parents with teenagers. So let's start. How to get results without working? How to become rich without planning? And how to talk the class without studying or learning? This seems to be very easy. But as a mother, if we do not change our approach towards our own behavior, how are we going to understand the child's behavior? So for that, in the last couple of days, we worked on various things. First, we worked on uh, our magical space, that is the meditation space. Then we worked on the breathing processes, how we are supposed to breathe. And uh, thirdly, we talked something about mindfulness on the third day. On the fourth day, we uh, talked something about the conversation style with the children, especially with the teenagers. Now, what uh, we have, you as a parent, worked up and made it possible for your transformation in your uh, approach. So just type any one thing which you resonated uh, with it, right? Do the way I showed you in the live demos. So if you are really serious about... Uh, Coming in the process and helping a child, not only your child, but yourself also, to connect with your teenager. So, it will be a you know, blessing for me so that I could become a vehicle for, for the mothers to raise up, to rise their uh, you know, connection with the children. If they are lacking in some way or if they need some help they can surely approach me and if you think that uh, you need some help extra help so you can come along with my free one-to-one -one session so now before uh, i should give all the details to you there is a very wonderful um, presentation which i have brought for all the viewers out here it's a very short thing, but it is very effective for all of you to connect with me in this session. And better write down, keep on writing your comments below. So let's start. Now, this is the screen which I am showing you. And this is here what I have uh, presented you. And will be there. These are certain uh, slides which I'm going to show it to you so that I can relate with you. Now, first, it's the whole family. What it is depicting that behavioral parenting is not a single attempt of one parent, not the other, or one brother or one sibling, not the other. It is a team game. And so let's move further. That now, see, the practice being present with the with your children. What is it? It's very simple. There are in three points. Make the child your priority whenever he wants you to be there. That means, do not leave your child alone. Even if you are doing something important, something urgent, let your child feel your presence. 
right and secondly if he wants to be alone do not disturb him that means you've got to give certain kind of uh, importance to his uniqueness and just ask his permission if he allows you to complete your work and then thirdly we talk politely to our seniors aren't we we are talking to our elders we are talking to our bosses at home even if we are angry we don't talk rudely with our you know older people but why should we talk rudely with our children and so this is just a uh, you know uh, transferring our anger to the children this is the greatest mistake that i as a mother also have uh, done it at some point of my life so this is what i wanted to convey to the parents that don't treat your child like uh, what all your frustrations because you don't have anybody to um, cater to your needs so the child is only one who's not going to reply you back who's not going to hurt you so it's what a natural process now next comes that how our emotional wounds affect our quality of life you can understand this that it is not that what we have suffered during our childhood it is the same thing we should transfer it to the child so it is our deliberate effort to just stop this that our emotional wound should not be transferred to our children so for that we have got to work we have got to work on our lives we have got to work on our behavior our approach towards parenting and our attitude towards our children so it is not that we have got to imitate our parents that they have uh, uh, been uh, rude to you or they have uh, shifted their mental garbage to you and you're going to hand it over to your children it's not like that you can stop this chain of for uh, transferring the uh, wounds to the next generation right and now this is very important that a inner child is not nurtured and nourished and our minds gradually close to new ideas unprofitable commitments and the surprises of the spirit now this is one of the uh, greatest parenting coach brennan mart that spoken about in a child that if we have not processed if we are not nurtured our in a child or you know um, our in a child is not grown up so how can we uh, as a grown up person can behave as a better parent in the same way we are going to trouble our children as we were troubled when we were young so as a result we are taking wrong decisions and if decisions are wrong then you can see what the outcome of your child's uh, childhood will be now this is a generational patterns like if you don't heal you will pass your emotional traumas to your kids it is but natural and secondly physical and emotional health is also passed through your genes and if we do not stop this scenario if we do not stop this chain of emotions it will again get transferred to our children and again get transferred to their children so it's better we stop this process right now and with full you know um attitude and approach towards our parenting and in this case we hurt others and if we have healed ourselves it will be, it will not become a pain chain it will surely break and we don't have to keep continuing the things and when you have an emotional pain you cannot see a bright future and your perspective can change things entirely like suppose for example you have been a very good sports person when you were a child but your parents did not allow you to go enter into the sports world but it doesn't 
uh, have to continue when you when it is for the sake of your child you have got to mold a bit you've got to see that what your child's interest is in and if you had 100% interest in sports and your parents didn't allow it is not like that you also follow the same pattern so we have got to break the pattern now this is a child connection that we have got to connect with the child and this is the uh, why we have got to connect that the children always crave for the connection and thrive on the positive relationships and let's explore the importance of building strong bonds with kids in our lives so it is not that the our childhood has not you know uh, been nurtured that doesn't mean that we cannot nurture our children's childhood surely we can so let's make a deliberate effort to nurture our the uh, childhood of our children then what's the benefit of connecting with your inner child is to boost creativity and imagination and this only your own children will help you to connect with your inner childhood and in the same way your stress and anxiety will also reduce and will enhance your overall happiness in the same way it it was with me also that i was the one who had lots of inner child uh, issues but my own children especially my teenagers when my children grew into teenagers they really helped me to bring out my childhood and i was so happy and thrilled until today i thank my teenagers to help me to come out of this situation of mine maybe in a later stage but even then i am free of this burden now and then comes my childhood hobbies if we are as teenagers we felt like our parents should have dealt with us we can enter into our childhood hobbies and play with our children and develop the social skills imaginations and creativity and in that case we are connecting with our inner child and bringing joy and creativity in our child's life also and in that way i encourage the audience to connect with their inner child and i thank you for all those who were joining this for the meaningful connection with the children in their lives right so in that case i am truly very very blessed to uh, present uh, this uh, mindset of mine for all the audience out here and i think you've enjoyed this kind of uh, presentation from my side and uh, you will looking you will look forward to improve your child's childhood and also to rectify and improve your inner child so that your whole family becomes joyful and you live a blissful life with your children and forever because when you have connected to your teenager it is a connection for life so this is uh, all what i had to convey in today's fifth and the final mindfulness uh, session out here and I like this here yeah, the next decision is that please take a decision for yourself and uh, like if you don't take the decisions to join my whatsapp group and join my one to one session it it will i'll be uh, overwhelmed and i'll be very blessed to have you in my community and if you are not taking in the decision no issues because no decision is also a decision if you want to improve the uh, your relationship with your teenager then do join my whatsapp group do join my facebook group it, because it is a vip facebook group for all those who are interested to have a connection with the with the child and especially with the teenager and so please make a decision and if you do not make a decision 
again, it is also a decision to delay your things to in the future. So, thank you and have a good night. And I had a lovely time with you. And if you would like to join my session, please join it. And thank you. Yes. Thank you and good night.